Hello all, welcome back to this old save. Seriously is here, back for some more uh, Artemis missions. I think I've figured out the solution to our dilemma. It seems to still, whenever I reload, I have a dialed portal already. It's still asking me to input the glyph sets. You know what we're gonna do? I think the game just doesn't know what to do with the fact that I have all the glyphs unlocked already and have already been through this specific portal. We're just going to do this. So we're going to get a corrupt approximate location, but that doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter. <laughs> okay, portal dialed. We got the animation. Boom. There we go. Uh, a leap in the dark. Locate and activate a portal. Enter the portal. All right. Now we should, hopefully, fingers crossed, get hijacked and sent to that planet that we did get go to last time. Uh, but this time we'll get hijacked away from it and go talk to the Atlas. Fingers crossed. Or whatever superstitious good luck charm you do. But that's that's a default one, right? Crossing fingers. How many fingers can I cross? I've got... If I cross my thumbs with each other, three sets of crossed fingers. That's not enough, is it? Come on, come on, game. You can do it. Work. Yeah, this looks very familiar. We were here last time. <laughs> and this time we're just a floating head. Oh, and a torso. There we go. Breach, anomalous signal detected. Now we're gonna get yoinked away by the Atlas. We do have time to grab a capillary shell. There it is. Yoink, we got one of those. We'll go talk to the Atlas now. And then we'll tell Apollo all about it, right? Goodbye, world. Alright, well, now that we're here, let's learn some Atlas words, hopefully. Might have learned one or two already from uh, monoliths. But if we're lucky, we'll learn a whole bunch here. Nothing there. there. We got two already and then nothing. Two in a row. If I recall correctly, somebody was saying that the earlier stations you go to for the Atlas on a save, the less words you learn and the further you go, the more you learn up to a certain point where you stop learning any. Alright, well we got two words. <laughs> couple more things to activate here. Yeah, that's it. Just the two words. Okay. We will grab the antimatter here, or uh, warp fuel. There we go. Let's talk to this guy. Hello. Let's get through this as quick as we can, too. I think we have to uh, do a lot. There we go. Lots of clicking. Click, 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 click. Uh, personality interface, sure. Why not? I don't know what the differences are. I just always usually pick personality interface. Uh, submit. Doesn't matter what you pick. All right, now we're gonna get sent back. Well, sort of. We're gonna get sent to a different place. We'll have to locate our ship. 
or more precisely call it into us and then continue on with the mission with Apollo and probably talking to Nada and Polo again. Still a lot of things to do in order to get to Isenham. I still contend that it's going to be faster this way than it is to do it the... Well, it might not be technically faster. I'm sure we could really power through traveling through galaxies really quick-like, but it's sort of tedious. And boring. <laughs> Alright, so we have not been here yet. First contact. Excellent. That's fine. Let's call our ship in. Nothing found. I don't know why it says that over and over. That's okay. Locate and board your starship. We're going to get a mission update right away. Freaking out about the Atlas that we just met. Uh, we were trying to rescue Artemis, I guess. Let's answer the communicator. All right. Starship is critically damaged. Repairs advised. Mysterious signal echo log in navigation systems. Well, let's head to the marker. Let's check on the damage while we're flying. What's What's damaged? I don't see anything damaged. Let's continue on. 26 seconds away. We'll gain a little bit of altitude. That was much faster than 26 seconds, I think. Uh, approximate location, though. Okay. What are we looking for, though? I don't see any buildings. We might have to land and scan. Unfortunately. What do you mean it's not clear? There's plenty of room here to land. Thank you. All right, how close are we to whatever? Well, it is down that way and fairly close. Yeah, we are actually getting closer. Let's just jump down. Oh, we're probably going to talk to a grave. Yes, indeed we are. Is this our Mrs. Grave? Ooh. Whoops. There we go. This is Artemis's grave. Textureless Artemis. There you go. There's some textures, Artemis. <laughs> Are you all right, Artemis? I know you're already dead. What's wrong? Okay, we're figuring it out. Uh, I'm going to just step back. Let's get away from here. <laughs> there we go. My friend is dead. Contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. I mean, the ship is sort of just up the hill, but let's call it in anyway. Uh, we'll hit scanner now. We may as well. We don't need it to recharge that quick. Hollow terminus detected. Let's fly there. Usually it's good. Yeah, I was going to say 13 seconds away. Within 20 seconds, there's hollow termini everywhere on the planet. Approximate location. I've had it up to here with your approximate locations. I'll tell you what. Well, that's not it there. 
Oh, that's an observatory. There we go, right up the hill from it. And I think our jetpack is upgraded enough that we can just get straight up top from down here. We're going to give it a try at least. Ooh. Uh, we're going to be cutting it close. Yeah, it's, it works. It's fine. We had plenty to spare. Alright, we'll talk to Apollo here. It didn't tell us to go talk to Nada and Polo yet. We'll probably have to talk to Apollo first. Oh, here's where we contact Null. Alright, well it's time to talk to Null, I guess. Hello there. Okay, so now we have to go make a mind arc to, uh, I would rush. Yeah, whatever. Mind arc. Let's go get the recipe and, uh, and do this for him. I think we have to go tell Nada and Polo first. Speak with Artemis. All right, we're gonna try to save you and then give up. <laughs> What's next? Mine cadmium, eh? Hyperdrive upgrade required. Well, I don't think that's true. Uh, it is asking me to install the cadmium drive, so maybe we'll do that anyway, but I'm pretty sure Oh, no, look at that. I don't have uh, I don't have that installed. Okay. Oh uh, That's not there we go install Indium drive cadmium drive there we go Okay uh, now we have to go talk to Nada and Polo. Okay, okay. Very nice background space here. Very pretty. Let's see what they have to say. Doesn't really matter what they have to say. We just want the free Quicksilver and Nanites on our way to Isentam. These detours do cost us a bit of time. If we were in a super hurry, we could skip them. We do not need to talk to Nada and Polo each time. Uh, but, you know, free nanites is free nanites. What is it, 120 nanites? Something like that? Ask about no. We get 80 nanites and 150 Quicksilver. That's not too bad, not too shabby. And it's not from each of them, it's just a one-time thing. You don't even have to talk to Polo. Apparently, Polo doesn't count. But he does offer you unique lore text. That we just skipped past. So I don't know why I talked to him. <laughs> Alright, back to the plan. Continue with Null's plan. We need to... Make the mind arc. Construct the mind arc. Hmm. Can I just make it? Craft a product. I need a soul engine, so I need 120 cadmium. Do I have any of that on the freighter? No, but you know where I can get cadmium? Is that any space station? So let's do it that way. Because that'll probably be the fastest way instead of warping to a red star system. You know, I don't even know if we're not already in one. Who knows? If I scan, we'll find out. 
No, copper. Okay. But all we have to do here is buy a starship weapon system for some nanites and uninstall it. Uh, we got 1700. We've made a couple hundred since the last time we checked. Gotta work on that. Gotta work on that. But that'll be another time. We don't need a lot of nanites to do this. Uh, let's see. Sure. That should work, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Maybe we need a multi-tool upgrade. But let's try this and see what we get. We got silver. And nothing. Yeah, you know what? I think it's one of these. <laughs> I think it's a weapon over here that we need. Uh, let's try that. Let's see what we got. No, we got pugnium. What do we get cadmium from? I know there's something. I know there's something that gives cadmium. I don't remember what it is. You know what's going to take even longer is figuring it out. So let's go get some cadmium the old-fashioned way then. <sighs> what a tedious bore. <laughs> uh, we're not going to find it on pilots. So let's go into space. and look for a red colored star. Here's one right there. Any star will do. We're going to do this as quick as we can. 120 cadmium. How annoying. And hopefully uh, not all the planets here are activated cadmium. That would really get in the way as well. Looks like we have regular cadmium there with some aggressive sentinels. Um, I thought it said three planets. Yeah, there's one over there. You know what? We should probably just go to this aggressive sentinel one. It's going to be the closest. Yeah, 45 seconds away by pulse. I think we can deal with aggressive sentinels, right? Should be fairly easy to find some activated cadmium from the sky. It's bright, shiny red. Uh, I don't think there's phosphorus available on these planets. Of course, the sky is red, so all of the deposits are going to be bright, shiny red. And I don't see any deposits of anything anyway, so we're probably just going to land and scan. If we're allowed to land. There we go. Okay, let's get scanning real quick like. We are looking for those symbols. And we want them to say cadmium, not cobalt, not gold. Well, maybe that's why we didn't see any, because there aren't any near here. All right, let's get going. Still don't see any from the sky. We can do another scan over here, I guess. We're far enough away from the last section that we scanned at. Yeah, not a lot of resources here, are there? Uh, okay, here we go, some down there. Cobalt. Oh, 
There's some pretty far away over here. That one disappeared. Cobalt. Cadmium. There we go. We're going to mark that and fly to it. And our launch systems are empty. Uh, where'd my marker go? Ah, there it is. Okay, great. Well, look, no wonder I couldn't see it from the sky. It didn't spawn in until we landed. <laughs> this is a lot of work for the mind arc, I tell you what. Oh, jeez, we're going to have to deal with the Sentinel, too, here. Because I am not willing to, uh, to get rid of him. Wow, three of them? It used to be that if you just attracted one star attention, it was just the one of them. Alright, well, as soon as we get our cadmium, we are out of here. Not fully shielded here. Getting pretty close already. 80. 100. Okay. 10 more. There we go. We are done. Let's get out of here. But you know what? We do need cadmium to install the emerald drive, I think. So maybe we should just finish looting this thing. While we're here, let's make some progress. We don't need the emerald drive. We can just skip straight to the indium drive. Uh, but we're not dying. We're, we're taking a bit of shield damage. I don't even know if this is going to be enough to get that drive installed. Oops. We'll, uh, we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, we're taking actually a decent amount of damage when we just stand there. Let's not let them hit us if we can help it. We're gonna have to get out of here in just a moment, but be nice if we don't have to come back and do this later. You know what? We're just going to come back and do it later. In fact, let's uh, go to big size and get this sorted out real quick. We'll just grab everything we can as fast as we can. How do you like them apples, game? Cadmium. Gone. Alright, let's get out of here. All of that, and we still only have one star. <laughs> okay, how much did we make? I think that's enough, actually, for the drive as well, which is perfect. Uh, we need a living pearl. So, we need to go somewhere with an ocean. Let's check the discoveries here. Yeah, I can't see anything. This planet will not have water. That planet over there has water. I can see it from here. Very impressive. Question is, does it have hostile sentinels? Because they're really annoying. We've lived for an entire day on extreme worlds on this save. I can't believe it's taken us that long to get 24 hours spent on. The save is eight hours old. <laughs> All right, off to get the Living Pearl. This is usually what takes us a long time, so hopefully we have some luck on this part, since the Cadmium took us forever. Uh, let's hedge our bets by heading somewhere where we can see that there's a good chunk of water right over there. That way, even if a storm comes, we're going to be somewhere that's reasonably deep water. Hopefully has a lot of clam shells. Nice 
nice blue sky here. over there on that island. Let's land on that island. There's a blue chromatic filter here too. Neat. Okay, let's hop out of the ship. Got a teeny bit of uh, lag going on. Let's see if we can scan from here for any clams. Uh, wait, what's that? I saw yellow. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. 87 away. That That's underneath the island, isn't it? It is indeed. So, you know what? Let's uh, turn manipulate down to it. Oh, if the game lets us. There we go. Turn that down a setting. We don't want to drill too fast. We don't want to destroy that clam. Let's swim past it. Oh, there's two of them. Excellent. Now we'll turn the laser on. And let's get an extra one while we're here. Who knows what we're going to need to install next, right? And since we're already using supplementary oxygen, let's go back to the train manipulator and drill our way out. There we go. Now we can construct the sole engine. Come on, game. My game. Yeah, it's lagging out a bit here. <laughs> so for the mind arc, we need another glass. Okay. Uh, well, fortunately, we have plenty of this. So as soon as we get one, we can give it a stop. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mind arc. Boom. There we go. Mind arc complete. Where's the ship at? Really nice colors here. Look at that. Blue filter. Orange pink sky. All right. Mission is in another system. We have to warp back and talk to Apollo. Uh, sorry, Null. Let's go do that. We probably have to go talk to Nada and Polo first, actually. Let's see what happens when we fly into space. No, no update. All right, well, let's warp back then. Uh, it's telling me to go next door. I've never been here before. All right, well, we'll go wherever it's telling us to go. It's the next part of the mission. We'll do what it says. For expediency's sake. Wow, my ship is shaking. Doesn't like warping here. Very happy with the ship, though. I much enjoyed this design. The colors, especially. All right, first contact, balanced, low conflict. We are headed in this direction to a hollow terminus. Bring the mind arc to Artemis. This is not where Artemis was, is it? No, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Any hollow terminus will do, I guess. I don't know why we had to warp a system away. Scan that planet we're headed towards. Looks frozen. It is frozen. All right, so I think we're done for today. 
Uh, let's go a teeny bit over time and talk to this hollow terminus at least. Happy does not say approximate location. That's good. So we can just head straight at it. There we go. Downloading Artemis in here. There we go. Uh, use the mind arc. you. Don't have a lot of choices to make in this part. I think we just leave and go and talk to Nata and Polo now. Seek help for Artemis. Yeah. All right. Fly to the Anomaly. We are going to do that next time. We'll join you there. And until then, have a good time.